Today's video, I'll be showing you why one of my students failed his test for observation turning left. First of all, I'm going to show you what he done and why he failed. Then I'm going to show you a better way to do it. But then I'm going to also show you a different type of junction where the observation he done, he might have been okay. So make sure you stay until the end of the video to see what I mean. Before we go any further, if you would like to book lessons with myself or one of the team, please click the link in the description and fill out the form. So I'm gonna show you what he done now. So we're gonna turn left at this T-junction. So you know the drill now. So mirror, signal, position, slow. I'm in the second, I'm off the clutch. And what he done was like this, one, two, and now that made me very uneasy there actually doing that we had to have a second look there but see that that wasn't enough observation now do you see what happened there i was coming up to a t-junction i couldn't really see on approach i pulled out and it was dangerous that made me feel very uneasy the tester would be feeling the same if you done that with a tester in the car now the reason why my student failed was because when he done that the car came and the car had to brake, which means he failed his test because he turned himself into a hazard. I would say my student would have failed anyway, just because it was really dangerous pulling out like that. You have, If you can't see, you have to do that little bit more observation. And I'm going to show you what way to do that now. So before I show you how to do that, I recorded this video in a go car. If you would like to get 25 euro off your first car hire, Please use my code in the description when creating your account. All the T's and C's will be in the description below. So a better way to do that would be this. So T junction, we're turning left. So we do our mirror signal position. I'm on the brake. I'm in the second. I'm off the clutch. But look, I'm still on the brake. Quick look. I can't see. So clutch in. Look here for position in the fourth. Now look right and left. And now I can see what's happening. And then you can look where you're going so that's how we tackle a closed junction when we can't see we need to slow it down roll it into first if you're in the manual and then get a better look and when you know it's safe then off you go and try to get the two looks in because then the tester knows they've looked and they know that it's safe to go so that's how you tackle a closed junction and the reason why I call it a closed junction is because we couldn't see right and left on approach. So we slow it down a bit, get a better look, and then off you go. The next example I'm going to show you is an open junction. And the difference is now we can see right and left on approach, and we will be okay to keep going in second, providing there's no oncoming traffic on the new road. So I'm going to show you how we do that now. So it's the same thing. We, once you hear left, it's mirror, signal left, position straight up to the turn so i'm coming i'm in second i'm looking right and left i can see there's nothing coming look here a little glance and just keep going and that will be okay in your test because it's an open junction we can see there's nothing coming and you do want to keep the car going when you know it's safe to do so so there we go a nice quick and simple video of why my student failed and what he could have done differently to avoid it so watch the video in the box here that'll be a more detailed description of how to turn left at a t-junction and also watch the other videos here for mock tests just to get yourself ready for your test because then you will know what to expect on the day of your test if you're still here please like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video